Dear brothers. I am Atama. Continuing our journey, today we will talk about Chapter 11 of Book 2 of Telos. In this chapter, our brother Galatril represents the city of Pazid, an Atlantean city. I'm going to go back in time a little. The sinking of Lemuria, later the sinking of Atlantis, was due to a total imbalance between both civilizations. Somehow we were induced to look outside for what we had inside. You know what the result was. The story has been told many times, there is no need to repeat it. Within this entire concept, today this Atlantean civilization knows what it caused, as we know what we provoke. It was a long time of learning, of rebuilding our own souls so that we could reach the point we are today. Don't think it was easy. Don't think that we simply hide here on Telos and continue to live our lives normally as we always did. Imagine, each of you today, as a people responsible for the sinking of a continent, for so many deaths. Would it be easy to understand all this? Would it be easy to live with this? I assure you it is not. And if we survived, it was precisely because it was up to the few who arrived here in Telos, to rebuild our souls, and as gratitude, to teach and evolve other souls, who are now incarnated across the planet. Don't think that because we survived we were somehow privileged. I would say that we were those souls who got into the mud less than others, and were able to see what was happening in time. But we were one people, we were one continent. And we know that somehow we could have avoided everything, that we all contributed, some to a lesser extent, others to a greater extent, to what happened. In the same way Galatril tells about Atlantis, exactly the same process. And so let's make a parallel here. What you are experiencing today we experienced a long time ago, separation from source, the search for power, inequality, the lack of love. We live all of this. We fell, but we got up, and today we are here as living proof that recovery is possible, that elevation is possible. Where is humanity now? On the path of elevation, on the path of ascension. Will everyone ascend? No. Many will continue to be immersed, sunk in the third dimension, in ephemeral pleasures, in addictions, in power, in attempts at superiority, in finding themselves the main one, the one who brings nothing down. Then these will sink, as we sink. They will not remain on the planet. The word sink here is, metaphorically speaking. Those who today are looking to return home, many of whom cannot understand what returning home is. The return home is the return to the source, the return to love, the return to live within the principles of light. Many are choosing to follow this path, many are walking, many are desiring, many are doing something to follow this path. And for these there is an immense chance that they will ascend together with Gaia. Those who continue to close their eyes, to look only at themselves, to experience selfishness, to experience violence, to experience this mess that humanity has become, unfortunately will not ascend. Many may ask, but if they want, will they be able to do it? Everything will depend on each soul's journey. I cannot generalize here. There are those who are immersed only by their legs in this great mud. Then you can sit on the edge and go out whenever you want, and start the journey. Will they make it? It will depend on the commitment and strength of each person. There are those who are underwater up to their necks, but who still have strong arms to get out of the mud. Will be easy? No, it won't, because this slime is sticky, it pulls down, but if they have a lot of strength in their arms and a lot of desire, they will be able to get out, they will still have a chance. Now there are those who are submerged until, there is no longer any position in the body, the body is inside and well submerged. I would say that you can't even see the surface, you are so immersed in this rot that you can no longer see the light. You live what is there, sinking deeper and deeper. These won't stand a chance. So my brothers, what does each of you choose, to remain in this mire and continue to live the pleasures you have today and perhaps in the future, I don't know how far away, you wake up and decide to ascend wherever you are, or this is the time to give a big push and try to get your head out and try to get out of this mud. There is still time. There will always be time. 
Gaia has not yet ascended. I can't guarantee that you will get there, but your soul will already be on the path and will probably ascend very soon. Nothing is wasted. What Galatril puts here in this chapter is a very big request for forgiveness, in which he places himself as a great instructor, like us here in Telos, to teach you what not to do, what not to repeat. But in all that I said here there is only one point that cannot be forgotten, there can be no judgment. What will you be judging, who will you be judging? And what have you done all this time in the third dimension, will anyone judge you in the future? Everything you did against the planet, against yourselves, against the animals, who will judge you? So forget judgment, the moment is for union, the moment is for forgiveness, and the moment is for elevation. For those who want to ascend, they need to strip away everything they have in their soul, and it is through forgiveness that they can clear their path. At no time, in no situation, judge the other. Nobody can judge anyone. Not even father or mother God does that. Everyone reaps what they sow there is no judgment. Whoever breaks the universal laws may be judged in the name of a people, a civilization, but these are the universal laws that were created to maintain the balance of the universe, not a simple judgment that you make of the other. Open your hearts to Telos, open your hearts to Posit. Both and many other intraterrestrial cities are open, with open hearts, to receive each one of you, and to show you what not to do, and what must be done for your own ascension.